We're shown a triangle here. We're given three angles. The angles are not all inside the triangle. And we're asked what X is. Well, what I think about first is the most important thing about triangles, which is that their interior angles that I'm drawing in red right here sum to 180. Now, let's talk about what these interior angles are. Okay, I'm going to put a little more of a detail on this. This interior angle right here is 180 minus C. Okay, this interior angle over here is 90 degrees minus A. One of them is supplementary, one of them is complementary. The one at the top is easy, that's just B. We're given that one. Okay, great. So I can make an equation now that says 90 minus A plus B plus 180 minus C equals 180. Okay, those are the angles that add up to 180 degrees. And you can put these in parentheses if you like to keep them a little more, I don't know, tidy. But we still need to figure out what this stuff is in terms of X. So now I'm going to have to start making substitutions. So what is A? Well, we're, we're told that A is 8X minus 100. So up here, I've got 90 minus 8X minus 100 degrees. Okay, that's the first part. Then I have B. Then I have this last angle, which is 180 minus C. Now what's C? I think that's given to me over here. Ah, there's C. There's B, by the way. Let's put those in also. B was, if I'm not messing this up, I think B was 4X. Yep. B was 4X and C was 6X. And this equals 180 degrees. Well, congratulations. We got ourselves to an equation that can be solved. If you count how many variables there are in this equation now, it's just X. There's a whole bunch of X's, but it's only one equation with one variable. We can solve this. So first I'm going to distribute some stuff. Minus that parentheses becomes... 90 minus 8x plus 100. Then I've got my plus 4x right here. Then I've got my plus 180 degrees minus 6x equals 180. I like to combine like terms. So if I combine all my numbers together, I've got 90 plus 100 plus 180, which is like 370. And then if I combine all my x's together, that's negative 8x, positive 4x, negative 6x. So let's see, negative 4x. Negative, that looks like negative 10x. And then I still have the other side of the equation, which is just a boring old equals 180. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is add 10x to each side. And subtract 180 from each side. I get 370 minus 180 equals 10x. Well, 370 minus 180 is 190 degrees equals 10x, and that means x, if I divide both sides by 10, x equals 19 degrees. So I would say the most important part of this problem, right here, the setup. If you can set this thing up, you are well on your way to solving it. After this, it was all just algebra, but you have to recognize supplementary angles, right? Interior, exterior, add up to 180 when there's a straight line complementary angles, right? These guys added up to 90 degrees because we were given this clue over here of another 90 degree angle. And then we just make the algebraic substitutions.